And what's up you guys? Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Mango Grove. My name is Krisha, and this is today's Cardano analysis video. Can you hear the excitement in my voice? <laughs> I am very excited today, especially because, uh, well, this week, when the week started, I was going through my list of all coins, and I was, uh, yeah, I have, a, I have a certain list I'm looking at, and Cardano was on the list. However, I've been looking for this one trigger to go off on Cardano to give me the, the tip on whether or not it's worth looking at. And I finally got the trigger, guys. So we will be um, assessing Cardano based on the trigger. And of course, I'm seeing a lot more other things playing out on this chart that I really want to bring to your attention today. However, before I cut to the chase, for those of you asking me, Krisha, where are you trading the altcoins right now? So I'll tell you, I'm trading it on two platforms, okay? Not platforms, but one is a platform, one is not. Um, but as far as the high M caps and the established coins are concerned, like Cardano, like XRP, like some of the so some other of the mainstayers, I've been trading those coins on BitGet. Okay, so the BitGet exchange, I've I've been liking my experience, and I if you guys want to you know give it a whirl, um, check out the link in the description below to the BitGet exchange, and if you use that link, you can get some eight thousand dollars in deposit bonuses as well as discounts on your trading fees. But yeah, go ahead and and check out the exchange. As far as the low M cap coins are concerned, I've been trading those on chain. Okay, so just a quick set of heads up, um, the L ones and the L twos actually, the L twos have been very 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 snappy and the fees are super appetizing so um yeah that's where i've been trading uh, my altcoins at now as far as cardano is concerned guys i'm gonna try and keep this as high level as possible and i think that this chart is presenting us with the opportunity to keep it high level now the trigger that i was looking at on cardano primarily came in on the mango dynamic indicator now you guys know that we've been using the dynamic as a hack to trade cardano now for a very very long time even when the bear market started we used the dynamic to keep us on the right side of that trend right so if i go ahead and turn on the mango dynamic indicator on the weekly time frame you'll find that we have finally finally i'm gonna zoom i'm gonna zoom into this price action we have finally closed a weekly candle over the mango dynamic indicator. We almost had it right here, but then price lost it on the next weekly candle close. Okay, so I'm looking at this week for now. So, so far, we only have one confirmation over the mango dynamic indicator. As far as the next candle is concerned, this is looking very, very promising, right? This week, this weekly candle is looking very promising. But in addition to this weekly candle looking promising, there's a few other things that is looking very promising on Cardano's chart that's giving me a bit more confidence in this actually closing very well. So, I'll be going over that in a... Um, in, in, in a systematic way. I'm getting very excited, as you can tell by, by my voice. But if I just zoom out of this chart, um, I remember going bearish somewhere around here, and I, and I actually came in and I told people that, hey, listen, Cardano is doing something very different, and, um, you know, I'm out. I think we're heading into a bear market, and I know a lot of people laughed at me when I said that. And a lot of people stopped wa watching my Cardano analysis, even though it was one of my favorite charts. But hey, you got to call a spade a spade. And what do you know? As soon as we lost the dynamic right here, we were showing weakness. That downtrend continued all the way. What, like, what was this move to the downside? We lost it right here. All the way to the bottom was a good 87%. Hell, say we don't even want to take it to 87% because that's a, bit, um, that's a bit too optimistic on the downside. Let's say we even take it to the dynamic right here. That's still a good 81%, guys, to the downside. That's everything you did not lose. Okay, so getting your taking out your profits at the right time is going to be clutch. It's going to be very, very key getting into this bull run. And I do believe that we're currently heading into the next bull run. Okay, now as far as price against the dynamic is concerned, I primarily use it to keep me on the right side of the trend, okay, on the right side of the macro trend, as well as help me risk manage. Every time price loses the dynamic, it's telling me that, hey, perhaps it's time to start taking profits. Profits. Okay, so that's how I use the indicator and so far it's kept me on the right side So I'm looking at this as a very very good tilt for the bulls right now So now where does this level come in at for those of you who do not have access to the dynamic take down the numbers if you'd like um, This dynamic level comes in at around 37 cents Okay, 37 cents for now, of course, as, as it moves dynamically, I will be updating you guys on the number. So you don't have to get the indicator, but if you want to keep track, you can just note it down as I say it. Okay, so 37 cents is where the dynamics is coming in at. But now what's making me a bit more confident on this entire move is how the monthly closed. Okay, so this was my first trigger. I'm very happy with it. But then I went and looked at the monthly time frame. If I take you guys on over to the monthly time frame, switch off the dynamic for now. 
they clear out my chart. I want you guys to notice price action relative to the regions of support and resistance, okay? Now, I'm just going to zoom into this price action right here. I want you guys to focus on the monthly candle of Jan and Feb. All right. On, in the month of Jan, we actually got, um, we found resistance at around 39 cents. In the month of Feb, once again, we closed well underneath 39 cents, basically establishing 39 cents as that region of resistance. Now, the month of March, guys, managed to close over. Now, for those of you wondering, Krisha, it's just two data points. Is it that big a deal? Honestly, yes. Yes, it is. Why? It's because each monthly candle, guys, is a good 30 to 31 days. That's a good 60 days of the bulls and the bears fighting on these levels. So any established region of resistance is going to hold weight. Okay, so we saw 39 cents hold as resistance. Now, what happened on the month on the month of March is that we managed to take that out. So now we, we flipped resistance into support. Okay, so this was a very, very important close for the bulls. But in addition to 39 cents being a key region of, well, resistance now flipped into support, if I go ahead and turn on my mango ribbon, check this out. We also have the 10 simple moving average sweeping in right there. Okay, and in fact, the month of March closed slightly over the 10 simple moving average as well. So this is a very good picture. And if I really have to prioritize my timeframes based on the monthly, weekly, daily, four hour, the monthly time frame, the highest time frame will always take precedent. Now, because this closed extremely well, not only up against a region of resistance, but also up against a 10 simple moving average, I am looking at this as a very, very bullish close. Okay, and that's when I saw price down here. I'm like, Sean, I think the bulls are likely going to end up picking this up. So now if I combine this picture with the weekly close over the mango dynamic level, this is suddenly looking very good, and that's why this candle now is looking very promising. So we're about to get two confirmed closes over that weekly dynamic level. But in addition to this, guys, there's another thing playing out on Cardano's chart right now, okay? And we're threatening to break out of a very bullish pattern. So if I clear out my chart, what is the bullish pattern on here? This is the pattern right here. Okay, so currently we're threatening to break out of a cup and handle like formation. For those of you who do not see the cup and handle like formation, this is the cup, this is the handle right here. And if I go ahead and take the measured move of this cup and handle like formation and plot it on the break, where will that take Cardano up to? That will take us all the way up to 72 cents. Okay, 72 cents right here from our prices at right now to 72 cents is another 78% to the upside. Is there anything lining up with 72 cents? Well, yes, there is. If you go ahead and turn on your Ichimoku cloud on the weekly time frame, the 72 cent region, guys, also lines up with the weekly Kijun. That is going to be a very, very clean C-SPAN trade. For those of you who are not aware of the lingo, a C-SPAN trade is essentially a trade from the, the Tenkin right here all the way up to the Kijun. Okay, this is primarily based on the Ichimoku cloud indicator, which, we, which is one of our cornerstone indicators here at Mango. Okay, but now the main question is for those of you wondering, okay, Krisha, you know, okay, this the setup is looking good. The monthly looks great. Would you buy right here? Would I buy um, Cardano right here? Um, could we see a pullback? Now, I do already have a starter Cardano position. Um, now, as far as the pullback is concerned, um, for that, I want to take you guys on over to the Mango dashboard. I already have Cardano filtered out on this list. And I'm now going to go ahead and filter it out through my drop-down menu because I want to see what the trend is telling us throughout all time frames, from the 4-hour time frame all the way up to the weekly time frame. And you'll see that we're bullish across the board. Now, I don't think anyone can really argue with that. I think Cardano has been performing very well on its uptrend across time frames, right? In fact, the 4-hour turned bullish 14 hours ago and if you caught a trade just based on that if you had if you guys had an alert on and you managed to catch the long position on Cardano you're already up by a good 4.89%. Right? But now check this out the volatility is flashing that red number right at 71. Now it's not that high it's high but not that high it's telling me that okay the bulls still have a bit more umph to go before we could then expect a potential pullback opportunity. Okay, that's how I'm looking at this. However, please note that the 12-hour all the way down to the daily time frame, the volatility levels, guys, is very, very healthy. When I see healthy volatility, volatility levels, I'm usually looking at um, trend continuation. So right now, the trend is saying that, okay, we're in a bullish uptrend. That's why it's swinging along. Right? When I see these healthy volatility levels, I'm looking at this trend continuing to the upside right however because now the four hours saying volatility flashing 71 i could we could expect a minor pullback right here now for those of you freaking confused as hell and wondering krisha what the hell are you saying what i'm saying is this okay let's get on to the weekly time frame 
You see this uptrend right here? Okay, but then you see this mini consolidation right here, this consolidation right here. Think of how this would look on your lower time frames. We're currently on the weekly time frame, but how would this look on the lower time frames? On the lower time frames, guys, this okay, would look something like this. It would look like a downtrend. So this could have been a downtrend heading into macro support. And this was a downtrend heading into macro support. Okay, if I just go ahead and smack a line right here, let's actually clear out the, the Ichimoku cloud for now. Okay, check check out this price action. This was a downtrend. This must this would have been a four hour downtrend heading into weekly support at around fourteen cents, and then the bulls managed to step in and pick price up right with the rally to the upside. And what a diabolical rally that was! Right, so we could see something very very similar happening on Cardano right now, where we see a four hour downtrend heading into macro support before the bulls step in on support, okay, picking it up. Right. That's how you can interpret the dashboard to well help you catch those really, really good bid opportunities. All right, now as far as the next bid opportunity is concerned, let's look towards our four hour time frame. So on the four hour time frame, we've technically already seen a breakout, right? We did break out of this region right here, which came in at around 40 cents, and one which came in right here at around, yeah, 39 cents, this entire zone. Um, now I think th there, there's gonna be two ways to manage this, okay? One, either catch the breakout bid. Now, I've been trying to stay far, far away from catching breakout bids because more often than not, for me, they just never work out. Um, so I try and catch them on the pullback. Now, as far as the pullback opportunity is concerned, I'm going to get on over to the time frame where I can see this pattern best. And I think that could be caught on the 12-hour time frame best. And what do you know? Here it is, okay? So this seemed, to be a, this seemed to have been a bull flag breakout. Now, this right here was the bull flag. Okay. And uh, the flag was, can be highlighted by this W-like formation right here. Okay, with the neckline coming in at around 39 cents. So if there's any bid opportunity that I personally would gun for, if we close the 12 hour underneath 40 cents, I'm saying look towards 39 cents because you could see a bid right there. Okay, so that could be a good bid opportunity, but I think the best one, of course, of course, guys, would be this region right here at around that 10 simple moving average, right? On the monthly time frame. That's a monthly level. Like, you cannot go wrong with a monthly level because it would be so easy to manage the trade off of. Now, for those of you looking to trade the breakout, um, <laughs> like I said, I would not recommend it. I've been trying to stay away from break breakout trades. Um, but if you're trading the breakout here as a tip, try and reduce position size. Okay, usually when I, um, and I use this as a risk management technique, every time I do trade breakouts, if it warrants it, um, I, I reduce my position size. Okay, so um, as far as the breakout, breakout opportunity is concerned, I'm going to look towards price essentially breaking 41 cents. In fact, 42 cents. Okay, if I just get on over to my two-day time frame, there we go. Okay, and oh, brilliant. It lines up with um, the, the two-day cloud as well. Okay, so basically price breaking out of the two-day cloud level is going to be your breakout buy. Okay, but if I have to catch a bit over there, I would reduce my position size. But so far, guys, Cardano is looking excellent right here. Okay, in fact, wow, I'm spotting another pattern. Jesus. Uh, there's another cup and, uh, cup and handle pattern which has actually almost broken out yeah this is the breakout candle of the cup and handle like formation so we have a cup and handle in a cup and handle okay so we have a broader one right here which is this right here and then we have this one right here for those of you who do not see the smaller cup and handle like formation it's this okay if i take the measured move and plot it on the break where will that take us up to first stop guys 54 cents all right, what is the move from where price is at right now to 54 cents? That's going to be another 34% to the upside. But yeah, the breakout bid, look towards the two-day cloud. For the pullback bid, look towards your 10 simple moving average, essentially the, for the 39 cent region. Okay, that is going to be the pullback bid. But um, yeah, this is all I have for you for Cardano. I think Cardano is looking spectacular on the weekly time frame relative to the Mango Dynamic Indicator cheat codes. Make sure you're using that well, as well as it's looking great up against monthly support. All right. So try and use all of these things in conjunction together. Build a story for yourself for price action and make sure you always have your invalidation points at play. Okay, that way you're always safe and you know when you are wrong on your trade setups. 
Alrighty, now this is all I have for you guys on Cardano. I hope you guys enjoyed this analysis. And if you want more of this, if you want to stay tuned with all of the other altcoins that we will be covering, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. And I will see you guys in the next update. With this, trade safely, trade stress-free, trade the mangoid, trade the easy way. Ciao, you guys.